So special education, we always have to individualize what we're doing for each student. It's not by groups or a whole class. It's, so we just work as a team to figure out what each student's needs are. So the first five weeks of data at Gomper showed that he was kind of non-compliant and that even with hand over hand, he was moving his hand and not cooperating. And then by the end of the summer program, he had already showed significant growth from like non-compliant, not cooperating to actually showing that he had skills that he was tapping into and, and remembering and then utilizing in that task. First two weeks, I could already tell. I could already tell that he was safe, that he was happy, that he was getting what he needed. So it was an incredible experience to kind of restore my faith because going into it was really hard. Like, how do you trust someone with your nonverbal kid when you know that not everyone's gonna do what's best? Um, one of the nice things I think about Gompers is we have really large classrooms, like square footage wise. And inside that classroom, we have a small student population that has a very low student to staff ratio. So there's a lot of adults in the rooms to support the students. It gives them better chances to get their work done. It gives them just more you know, uh, supports, basically. We recently got a sensory room uh, grant and that opened uh, this summer and that allowed us to give students that have uh, sensory needs a time and a place to go and decompress and get back ready for work. One of the nice things, especially for the high school program, is we can do a seamless transition. So for instance, the students that are graduating this year, in January, will start going into the adult programs so that they're familiar with what the adult programs to offer, the staff in the adult rooms are, and familiar with the students. They go in with uh, support from the schools. And then we just kind of go from room to room trying to find what is the best fit for the room and for the student. And come May, they're familiarized with the routine. We will, um, they'll graduate. And then the very next day they can return to Gompers uh, in the DTA adult program, if they choose to come to Gompers. I could tell that I wasn't judged there, but after the first IEP meeting, we sat and we were discussing like what's next for him, what his goals are gonna look like. And it was the first time in years, in years, that I realized that we had a solid team.